And the last match of the evening, we have a bona fide batty alert from the Federation. Anna Kalinskaya, ranked 73rd in the world as high as 51st. I kind of like her being ranked so high because she gets favorable matchups. But she took out Elise Mertens last time out. That's a tough match. This is a tough match. But the reality here is she is an aggressive ball striker. She takes the ball out of the air. She's a mid-range player. She has good angles. And she has good spin. And Daria is the type of opponent. She's a defensive player. She always elects to return. She'll let her opponent serve first. And she let the wrong person serve first in this match. And it came out guns blazing. And like I said, she takes the ball out of the air. Daria will leave balls to be hit. I say it time and time again. If you play aggressive against Daria, you can beat her pretty easily. But nonetheless, I had one subscriber say he thinks Daria is the most calm and relaxed person on tour. I don't think so. I think she has good stamina. But like I've said time and time again, she cannot have a long career playing three-hour matches every time out. And with the elevation in Mexico, she's breathing hard. This is not the place for Daria to be playing. She is exhausted. And she's sweaty all, she's sweaty all the time. The necks of her shirts are always pulled down and hanging. She's always fixing her hair. She always has these confused looks on her face because she's tired. She's exhausted. You cannot play this style of play into your 30s. I think her career is only going to last in terms of top 20, only, maybe only a couple more years if that. I don't see her winning a slam because her style of play, she needs to work on her serve. She needs to work on her offensive metrics. Her footwork is great. She can close out well, but she... She lacks good serving ability. She lacks aggressive offense. And you're not going to be a dominant player in today's game unless you're great on offense, like an Igus Riantek, unless you have great service metrics. And Daria does not have that. And playing someone like Kalinskaya, who's aggressive, takes the ball early. She has great spin. This is a matchup where a friend asked me, look, uh, what do you think of the last match of the day? I said, I'm really not interested. It's going to be a boring match, but... Anna's getting plus two and a half free games in the first set for minus 160. You might as well take that because she's going to take the ball out of the air and she's going to score points. And speaking of that, she scored the last 11 points. So Daria is probably in trouble for this first set. Will she come back in the second set? She'll probably make adjustments. She'll probably make it close, but not a match I'm going to continue watching. Uh, Anna wins the first set on the spread. That's a winner uh, free pick I gave to, to a friend. And look, guys, enjoy it while you can. But look, as I've always say, her shirts are always pulled down. She's always sweaty. Her hair is always coming undone with these three-hour matches. She can't have a long career playing like this. It's just it's grueling matches every time out. And like I said, if I was her coach, I would definitely work on the serve placement. I would work on her offense, her forehand her back end. I mean, she's more comfortable returning. And I think that's a problem in today's game. But she's down for love and she's in trouble in this first set. She's going to have to do something different because that defensive strategy has her out of gas. She's out of breath. And it's just not working, ladies and gentlemen. This is good energy. I hope you guys have enjoyed all the free picks today. And look, that's what I do, guys. I don't win every match. I only win 80% of them.